Hello everyone, this is a very uh, unscripted and off-the-cuff video and uh, its purpose really is in response to another video that I uploaded last week in that uh, it was all about XP and different things you can do with XP, different games you can play with XP and it's been really popular and um, one of the games I was playing on XP was a game called Classic Cube which is uh, it's very much like a sandbox game, looks very much like Minecraft, but has all the same sort of blocks, really. And uh, I quite like Classic Cube. I'm not going to run it here because this video is not about Classic Cube, but uh, Classic Cube is a bit like Minecraft creative mode without any mobs. So you can just build stuff, you know, run around a world building stuff. It's, it's networked and multiplayer as well, so, you know, you can have loads of people all together building cities and whatever you want, you know. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's really well-optimized code as well, so it's really fast. You can run it on Windows 98 with a Pentium 1. You know, it's, it's crazy efficient. Uh, it's a free program. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, and that's what I was playing, but people saw it and said, hey, I didn't know you could play Minecraft on Windows XP. Um, and I said, well, that's not actually Minecraft. Um, I, I've never tried to run actual Minecraft on XP. I guess I just assumed that it wasn't going to run. Um, and it doesn't out the box. You need to do a, a few little tweaks, but it, it, it does work. Um, and I know that because I've spent ages trawling the internet, reading various forums and uh, information pages and just trying to sort of get a feel for how how you do it, um, what the limitations are, etc. And uh, there are loads of different suggestions, uh, ways that people have managed to get it to work. And to be honest, nothing was really hitting the spot for me. Some ways just seemed so complicated. And other ways didn't look like they were you know, going to go anywhere. So, uh, but eventually I did find, um, I did find a solution that looked pretty good and I've tried it and it works. So I must say as a bit of a disclaimer, this isn't my solution. I'm, I'm parroting what I've researched on the internet already. Um, but I thought I would uh, upload this video because uh, people are asking how you do it. So I thought maybe a, a simple guide would be in order uh, just to show you how I've gone about it. So if you want to do it yourself, um, at least you can see how I've done it. Okay, so... This is uh, vanilla Windows XP Service Pack 3. Nothing unusual about it. It's you know, patched up as far as XP can be patched. Um, it's not the 64-bit version. It's just regular, regular XP. So the first thing you're going to need to do is install Java. Okay. Because Minecraft obviously is a Java game. Uh, I've not even gone there with, with Bedrock. I'm just going to assume for this point that it's pointless. Um, okay, so sticking with Java. Uh, I've installed Java on here. And the version I've got is version 8, update 152. Version 8 is actually quite old, but version 8 is the last version that is officially supported by... Um, or supported to run on XP. I don't know if that's true because I haven't tested it, um, but I am told that uh, Windows XP will support version 8, but no more. So you're welcome to go and experiment with that if you want, but but uh, version 8 is fine anyway. So to, to get to version 8, let me just show you something that um, I found, which was actually very useful in the end. Um, if I load up this uh, website that I found. So this is somebody on uh, GitHub, skipster1337.github.io. I'll put a link in the um, in the description anyway. But this very kind person, whoever they are, has created a website with basically a ton of different um, links to various programs and updates and things that work with Windows XP. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff here. Um, the software is not stored on this website. It's just links to where you can download them. Okay, like for instance, here's uh, Audacity. It's a link to the last version that works with XP. Uh, 
you know, etc. There's Handbrake, Last XP version. So there's just loads of it. It's a really good directory if you like XP systems. And if you scroll way down here, there is somewhere, here we are, Windows Components, Java, version 8, 152, that's the one I've got. And this person says it's the last XP version. Uh, so you can download that from archive.org and uh, you can see the link there. Um, that downloads the version that I've got. And it's kind of weird when you run it actually, because it goes to install Java and it actually complains at you at first. It says, um, no, you, this is a really odd operating system. You should get a better one. But then it just installs anyway, like there's no problem. So I think it just gives its opinion, which you just not asked for. <laughs> and uh, and then it installs anyway. Um, so it works fine. So ignore the city message telling you that it doesn't like XP. Um, so yeah, I'll put a link in the description uh, for that. Now, the next thing you're going to need is a Minecraft launcher because the Minecraft launcher that um, is on the main Minecraft website, the one that Microsoft has, has written that's full of like adverts trying to, you know, hassle you, um, that does not work in XP and that doesn't surprise me. So you can use other launchers that are better anyway, in my opinion. If I go to my bookmarks, um, the one that was uh, highly recommended is this one. And this is what I've downloaded and it works really good. This is MultiMC. Manage Minecraft instances with ease. And it's, you know, open source. It's free. So Microsoft probably don't like it, but here it is. And it's available for 32-bit Windows because this is XP 32-bit. And you download that. And you can basically then download instances of Minecraft. So you download that, you run it, and this is what it looks like. I haven't got any cool skins on this one, but I don't really care about that. So if you want to add an instance, it's because it's blank originally, you add an instance, you say what version you want it to be, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can add things like... Uh, texture packs and Optifine and, and mods and stuff if you want to. Um, I haven't bothered with any of that. I did read that the latest version of Minecraft you can run with Java 8 is 1.16.5. So I guess if you could get a later version of Java installed, you could have a later version of Minecraft. Uh, I found that 1.16.5 did not work, actually, but 1.16.4 did. So I think they got a number out when I read that on the internet. So 1.16.4 seems to be the latest version that is compatible with Java version 8. Um, and to give you an idea of how old that is, it is the very last revision that came out in the year 2020. So... Basically, it's the version that 2021 started with. So, yeah, it's a, it's a little old. But actually, that doesn't bother me because um, I don't really get on with maybe some of the latest stuff that comes out in Minecraft anyway. Some of the new stuff's a bit a bit weird. I actually quite like the older versions. Um, so I'm not too bothered. So if I double-click that, it's going to load, right? Um I mean, it's got all like the nether stuff, like netherite armor and, you know, it's not that old, really. It doesn't feel that old. It doesn't feel like it's that far behind. Um, but, you know, that is a limitation. So uh, as we're looking at it now, you know, this is the, the version you're limited to. And that might be a, an issue for you if you'd like to do a lot of online gameplay, because you're only going to be able to connect to multiplayer servers that are the same version as this. Most multiplayer server is always the latest version so yeah that's a bit of an issue potentially uh yeah so i've done some uh just test worlds haven't really done anything serious in these yet and uh, just let that load this is not a new machine this is a motherboard from 2008 it's got an old oh, it's actually got two xeons on it two old xeons 50 watts each 
Um, so yeah, it's quite old. And the graphics card is a um, GT740, probably similar sort of age. Uh, but as you can see, it does work. Hello, sheep. Um, I mean, it's Minecraft, isn't it? You know, I mean, what's to say uh, further about that? Uh, if we go to F3, we can see frame rate. See, it's 120 frames per second there. You know, it's it's not bad, you know, for GT740. Um, and graphics are, okay, all fancy. Uh, clouds are fancy. Um, yeah, it's only on render distance, eight chunks, which isn't, you know, massive, but it's, I don't know, let's go crazy. Well, it's not like crazy, is it? Let's go up to like 12. Yeah, a bit longer render distance. Um, what are we looking at now? Still, uh, we're still 60. Um, 40, 37. We're still doing okay. Uh, look, the swamp there. Yeah, I mean, you know, what else is there to say about it? It works. <laughs> Seems to have most stuff. Get out of my way, stupid peg. Hello, Mr. Chicken. Got any seeds for... Oh, look at that. You can basically have a new best friend now. Where's he gone? Hello. Here you go. Yeah, I love you too. Okay, well, thank you very much. And... Um, I hope that's been useful to you if you want to run Minecraft in Windows XP.